On Coffee Talk the other day, I'm making a little trip this afternoon. I'm headed down to the U.S. headquarters of Le Creuset. Oh, cool. So I'm going to be able to visit. That? First time I've ever been, been to their Factory offices. Factory visits are great. So it's going to be fantastic to see uh, the U.S. headquarters, and I'll be going down with our buying team and looking at some new goodies. Nice. As well as maybe developing some exciting things. Now that's what road. I want to hear. So that's going to be fun. But right now, though, let's welcome back Mark Gill. It's good to see you again, good sir. Good to see you. A real pleasure to have you here. <laughs> and this is something Mark brings us called the perfect pan. And you're getting not one of these pans, but two of them. There's a nine and a half inch and there is a 12 inch fry pan set with glass lids. But this nonstick is not just any nonstick, it's ceramic. It's nonstick. ceramic. And my goal is to bring everybody the perfect experience in the kitchen. Yes. And it's going to start with that cast aluminum grill plate that brings the heat nice and even up the sidewalls and keeps it even. And the best part about it, David, is the fact that you've got that perfect release and a cleanup that's so fast you really don't want to blink. So here's what I'm going to do while that heats up for just a second. When I talk about a surface that doesn't stick, doesn't grab, sure. have a look here. This is cheese, but I've been burning and melting on here for about 30 minutes. Well, not I'm melting. I, I can't. I can't swear <laughs> this burned, but it's. Um, well, here's what I want you to see. see. Look at how even that is. The burner's not the size of the pan. But this is even on all sides. So when you're going to make something fun in the kitchen, something a little bit different, how about instead of just a burrito, how about you take that burrito and wrap it up in a little bit of cheese? Now, now that one thing I do, uh, Mark, a lot, being low carbon, low sugar, is instead of tortillas, I'll do a cheese. Ooh, exactly. Twill that, you, that I'll fill with, you know, um, deli meats and cheeses and lettuce and whatnot. Of course. And you can make a really delicious and delightful something, right? <laughs> so don't miss out on this. But the wipeout is what's so great about this. Exactly. Because this is so simple. Now, Chef, can these go in the dishwasher or no? These are dishwasher safe. Uh, wash them in the sink. if It just takes a second, but absolutely, you can pop it in the dishwasher. And even fish, and I've put this in a cold pan to heat up in real time on purpose, because anybody that's put cold fish in a hot pan, or, or sorry, cold fish in a cold pan, yeah. knows how it grabs. This skates no matter what you've got in now, there. Now, you don't have anything in there, right? There's no fat, no butter, no oil. And now what we've done is we've gone beyond creating the perfect pan, because yeah. join me back here. Okay. You can't call it the perfect pan unless you've created the perfect handle and this is what everybody skips over and I'm going to show you this I've got about five pounds of water in here this is going to signify food that maybe you're cooking in the afternoon the sauce as you mentioned this is every handle on every pan in the world you pick it up and your wrist is completely responsible and that's where all the pressure is exactly so as things start moving and getting out of control that's when accidents can happen and that's what we've alleviated first of all I've got gussets running all down the handle that means if it gets wet it's no problem mm. I've got Spots underneath for my fingers to go, so everything's uh, like secure. And but I've two also got some areas for lefty exactly. and righty. Exactly. So when I pick this up, it's like the handle of a tennis racket. All the weights dispersed all the way up to my shoulder. Go ahead and push on the edge of that. It doesn't go anywhere. You can't move it. It's solid as a rock. Wow. So as you're moving around the kitchen, I'm going to show you this up here. You've got complete control. So when you've got dishes that are big and heavy and lots of liquid and they're hot. Confidence in the kitchen like means that you don't pork chop. exactly. Confidence in the Delicious. kitchen means that you don't worry about whether or not things are in balance, if they're going to spill, if I have control. Now, I have complete control over this pan. And you brown all those pork chops in here as well. And that's the beauty of the ceramic surface. You're going to get those great sear marks, that perfect control, and you're going to get a cleanup. What do they call it? The Maillard pan. effect. That's what it is. It gives you that pretty this 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 color right here. Take a look. Love it. This ceramic non-stick coating is giving me that beautiful caramelization on the outside of the meat. That's not just for looks, that's flavor. Exactly. Gorgeous flavor. Now, can I also point out colors back here? Because we have lovely colors, and I believe they're repeated up top. So if we can just shoot the sides here, that'd be great. Um, let me grab my card. Forgive me for walking in front of the camera. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there, yeah. there we go. All right, now, this is the silver, I believe. This is sage. This is blue, and on QVC.com, we can show you the red. Here comes the red. Wait for it, carry the one. There's the red, fantastic. Now, 200 of these remain. Chef, can these go in the oven? Beautiful, 350 degrees, oven safe, for all your cakes, so your pies. that's pretty standard, most Absolutely, recipes, right? and here's what I love about this. You wanna talk about that easy release and that handle. When I'm dealing with something hot in the oven, I wanna make sure I've got complete control. So I've got my thumb on the spot, left or right-handed, that we've designed for your thumb to go. And this is great for all your holiday baking, everything that you're down. gonna do this, you got that for me? Upside down cake. I'm gonna give this a wipe. Beautiful. 
Isn't that nice? And it's steamy hot. You can see the steam in front of my apron. <laughs> oh, my gracious. Is that not gorgeous? That's lovely, sir. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to set this one down. Go ahead and set that one there. Okay. And I'm going to take our chicken cacciatore from the oven all the way over to our, 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 our cooktop. Is it cacciatore or chicken parm? Oh, thank you, kitchen parm. Chicken parm. But here's what I love about this. I have, even with the hot chicken parm, complete control. It's not taxiing my wrist because I've got the handle that we've designed to disperse that weight. Careful that lid. Absolutely. Now look at this. Now what's not happening? That cheese, that sauce, none of it is sticking to the exactly. pan. Exactly. You know, you've heard us use the, the term before, skating out of the pan. Skating, sheeting, gliding out of the pan. That nonstick is so good, it's shiny, even after you've cooked in it. Exactly. This is remarkable. And I will tell you, the skillet is the most used vessel in the kitchen. You're 100% right. We use the skillet more than any other vessel in the kitchen. So exactly. why not have a couple extra, right? Nine and a half and a 12 inch. Um, those uh, in the kitchen with David oven mitts are available. Sadly, not available in that red that's in the picture. But we have it, in, I think, in green, in light blue, and in yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Um, are you making a cream sauce to go with your... Um, we're going to add a little bit of white sauce, and then we're going to add some uh, capers salmon? and lemon. Exactly. We've given you nice high sidewalls. We've borrowed that uh, from the design of a casserole dish. So you can do your large dishes, your small dishes. Get creative with this cookware. Allow this to give you that confidence in the kitchen from the ground up from the cast aluminum grill plate and to the handle. salty brine cake. And that salty brine. Mm. We've designed a pan that you're gonna reach for over and over and over. The These broccolini. are the workhouses in the kitchen. I love broccolini. Love it. Oh. Love it, love it, love it. Now, had you put Brussels sprouts in there, I would not be able to <laughs> You'd be running uh, for the would door. Would not be I got that note. the same way. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate <laughs> that about you. Um, hey, this is very, very popular. We have all the color choices, exclusive to QVC, and they are dishwasher safe. So if you don't have time to wash them, although you can wash them out in a jiff in the sink. Absolutely. Um, but if you need to put them in the washing machine, you're fine. Um, Mark Gill, I understand you have, uh, you're the host of something called Marks on the Grill? Yes, sir, we are. Uh, a couple of hundred thousand uh, followers online. We talk a lot about grilling. In fact, next weekend, we're here with Robert Irvine's Portable Grill, and I've got a couple of videos online how to put together and some of your favorite things you're gonna do in it. Awesome, buddy. Thank you so much for being with us. You got and it. And we look forward to checking out Marks on the Grill on YouTube and Facebook. Thank you, sir. All right, young man. <laughs> All right, let's move right into, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and call it my baker. 